Hello everyone. Welcome back to BPO interview tutorials. Hope you guys are doing really well and learning a uh, multiple things from our video channel. If you haven't done that, check out the playlist guys. You will find almost 54 videos with regards to the quality interviews, excel tricks and also the yellow and green belt certification. So, welcome to our tutorials guys and guys please share subscribe the channel. You guys can get the subscribe option here. And also don't miss to click on bell icon and if you really find that I helped you in a job interview and uh, if you really cracked the interview you got a good job because of my videos and you have cleared that please share me the thanks please help me with that it will motivate me encourage me to prepare more videos for you guys so let's start today's topic uh, today's topic we came up with a new concept which is uh, regard related to yellow bell certification and the concept here is PDCA plan do check act we will see the definition we will see what are the four phases of PDCA we will also see that uh, how we can easy, use in our project how we can design PDCA with the help of an example let's start guys so what is PDCA so basically guys you have seen my last video of continuous and continual improvement if you haven't seen that please go and watch out that video guys uh, it will help you to understand what do you understand by continuous improvement and continual. So here uh, PDCA is the continuous improvement wherein there is no end. The cycle will repeat again and again. I know this definition is quite tough but when I go with the example definitely you will understand what I am trying to tell you here over is. Okay and we have also a different name for the PDCA. Uh, the full form of PDCA basically is plan, do, check and act. It is also known as demi cycle and short cycle and uh, there are four steps to carry out uh, this particular thing and it will help us to get some improvement some change in the process and uh, the main advantage here why we are doing this PDC is the process improvement. Let's move to the uh, uses of PDCA basically whenever we are, we are going to start a new project for an example I will go with an example of your level certification. If you guys are going with your yellow bell certification then you can use the PDCA plan to check act to show that how you can improve this particular process with the, with the help of your certain understanding and analysis. Okay. Uh, here we have a implementing any changes. If you want to do any change in the process you can go with the PDCA. PDCA we basically uh, had a clear understanding what we need to do, what is the plan and due to that what is the result what which may get and it will basically work on continuous improvement. So let's go with four phases of PDCA. The first one is plan. So basically before starting the PDCA there should be certain plan on which you want to work that may be escalation reduction that maybe you want to improve the uh, parameter wise course you have certain plan you have identified something which regards to uh, the escalation which are impacting to the billings you have seen like a CSET or DSET score got dropped then uh, if we are not meeting our target client will give us the penalty on that. So if we are going with any of the topic that will be considered as a plan. So what is the plan? What needs to be done or what core problem we have that we need to solve actually. So this is actually a plan. Now what is the do phase? Once you are ready with your plan then what you will do you will test it with the small scale pilot project you will test it with small small uh, part and then you will see that the proposed changed whatever you have done in the process what the desired outcome you are getting the minimum disruption to the rest of the or operation which means for an example for small changes if there is some error or there is some uh, problem which is occurring but that is very much minimum that is nowhere uh, uh, getting any problem to our process that's fine but with the help of that phase do phase if we are getting any advantage that we will see in the do, this particular do phase. Now the next is check what is the check phase do this is the important uh, stage of the PDCA if you want to clarify your plan and avoid reoccurring mistake and apply continuous improvement successfully you need to pay attention to the check phase it is very much necessary guys the plan what you have said you have done the activities in the do phase 
post doing all these thing you need to keep check on that either all the things are working perfectly or not either there is any problem or not here we will check and monitor the plan which we have executed initially either it is working or if there is a, if or else if there is any problem we are identifying if there is no problem then it's fine if there is a problem we need to do rca over it how we can do the rca i have already uh, added this video in my playlist you guys can go and check that and i also added few examples on the rca but don't miss to share and subscribe the channel guys and the last phase here is act if everything seems perfect and your team managed to achieve the end goal then we can again proceed to the initial plan as i told you it is a continuous process which means the process will go again and again again and again to this pdca again pdca it will goes like that if the act in the act phase if everything goes uh, good then we will implement the same plan again to see either our problem is getting solved or not so this is all about the pdca as a tutorial as a channel basically help you guys to crack the interviews and if you are able to uh, uh, show all this thing or you are able to explain all this thing in front of uh, the hr definitely you will crack the interview and uh, there will be no any concern or issue or any problem may occur while uh, going for the interview if you are ready with the topics now we will see one example here so i have gone through an pdc example for the escalation reduction process first i will go with the uh, theory here the theory here is uh, in there is an xyz process wherein there we have a multiple escalation we may get escalation from the client on certain parameters we may get escalation wherein associate did the mistake uh, frequently due to that customer is getting impacted so you know very well different process have different type of escalation so my plan here is uh, I need to reduce the escalation for that I should have a raw data with me and the trend analysis on the escalation so here I require this particular thing in do phase what I will do I will go with my last uh, 3 months of data or 2 months of data it totally depend on you I will do Pareto analysis you can see that video also in my particular playlist you will do brainstorming activity what is brainstorming activity you need to uh, uh, see like what is the reason because of that we are getting this particular error what are the key causes and uh, how you will get that you can do uh, hurdles you can go with the uh, dip checks you can you, in the do phase you need to do all the activities with the help of that you will get to know what are my top parameters which are getting impacted so Pareto analysis definitely will help you out uh, it will it will show you that uh, what are the 80% the 80% problem which are occurring because of those 20% of defects so you will get all this study in the do phase then check after completion of the do phase uh, I will notice that how the uh, process is going on for the next month either there is a control in the escalation post done with these hurdles dip checks and other activities like flyer is also an activity you can do this sharing process update uh, uh, on a daily basis of free shift you can uh, do multiple activities you can do post that you have identified that yes there are some changes you did some RCS you did some BQ analysis and you also did some efficacy mapping on the operator and everything you will just monitor over here in the check phase and the last provide the checklist to the associate to mitigate the client escalation at the end you have identified what the process you need to follow you will be repeating that for the another month you will be repeating that for the next month as well implementing some more new concepts some more new ideas and initiative you will also share the checklist to the associate that he they need to follow this checklist and they need to avoid the errors so in this way you can do the pdca there are multiple ways to do that uh, you may find uh, multiple videos on it uh, with a difficult methodology this is something very easy guys and you can also easily explain this in front of hr and you can also implement this in your projects and maybe your manager get impressed over here so that's it guys uh, with regards to the pdca and uh, at the end please see subscribe the channel please uh, click on bell icon, bell icon go to our facebook and instagram page you guys will get uh, more information regarding to our tutorials there is many more in our video sections go to the playlist but share your feedback and view guys if you really enjoyed and you really liked our videos thank you so much guys thanks for watching have a great day